Now before going to question and answer sessions, we will first see the concept map for this chapter. It is very interesting and very easy also. By concept map alone, you can understand the chapter better and clearly. So initial stage of concept map, what are the phenomenons of light? There are three phenomenons. So I can say the light, what are the phenomenons? The first is this concept map is little bit different in your textbook than this. I am making it simple. First is reflection dispersion refraction and scattering so these are the four phenomena of the light reflection dispersion refraction and scattering now in case of refraction you have refractive index that is sin i upon sin r right or it is also equal to v1 upon v2 meter now in case of refraction you again have rare to dense and dense to rare medium so what will happen in this case, neta 1 is less than neta 2, angle I is greater than angle R and third point is it is towards normal. Exactly opposite in this case whenever from denser medium to rare medium when light passes is neta 1 is greater than eta 2 angle i is less than angle r and away from normal so here we finish refraction okay now what happen in case of dispersion of light in dispersion of light you get spectrum okay in dispersion of light you get spectrum what happens in case of scattering of light blue is maximum and red is minimum and hence we see sky blue in daytime and this is what the this is what the reason of why we use the red light as a danger sign or danger color because it deviates or scatter less or minimum and travels longer distance. Now one point is remaining that is the rainbow. Now rainbow it is the combining effect of reflection, dispersion and refraction. So I can write it is the effect of reflection, dispersion and refraction because of three because of these three phenomena we see rainbow then from here one more point is remaining if it is normal it coincides with the normal all the incident rays are coincides with normal what happens the deviation is zero okay so just one this figure you can understand what this chapter actually is again here we get spectrum because of the dispersion we get we see rainbow reflection dispersion refraction combining in refraction we have refractive index which is called as neta sin i upon sin r i is the incident angle r is the refractive angle v1 is the velocity of light in first medium and v2 is the velocity of light in second medium 
Then when it travels from rare medium to denser medium, what happens? From denser medium to rare medium, what happens? Then what is scattering of light? Now one more point here is the blue light is tiny particles and red is larger particles. Okay, and we have again seen why at the time of sunrise and sunset we see red, orange and yellow sky. The shades, these shades sky why we see that also we have seen. Because the sun is at the horizon and the distance from the observer is maximum, the medium is denser and that is why the red light travels maximum, deviates minimum or scatters minimum. So we see the sky. Now the person who is in the outer space outside the atmosphere of earth will he see red, blue, green or uh, red, blue, yellow or blue sky? No. Because there is no medium. The sun rays directly comes. There is no refraction. There is no scattering. There is any atmosphere is not there. It's vacuum. And that is why he see the sky only of black color, dark sky he sees. Okay, so this was the concept map. This, this is the simpler concept map. In book you will see the larger concept map. But always keep in habit of drawing this concept map so that the complete chapter you can revise in one shot. So now let us uh, see some question and answers and some problems on this chapter.